Ladies and gentlemen, it's the man who put the balls in the Terry Venables. It's only Terry Venables. <laughs> Translates from the Spanish to the Terry, of course. Now, <laughs> welcome, Terry. Great to have you on the show. Great to be here. Such a privilege to have you on. The last England manager to achieve anything of any note, yeah, in my view. Yeah. Not quite achieved, but. No, um, well, no, yeah. no, you got us close. Yes, you got yeah. us close. <laughs> so, tell me, we're not going to muck about here. Why England so crap at the moment? <laughs> I thought you might start with that one. Well, <laughs> it's worth asking, isn't it? What's the problem? Can you tell us? Um, I just believe that we have the players. It just seems that we are a little bit frightened of the situation. I think, basically, the players have the ability, they care about it, where people say they don't. Yep. But yeah, we have a problem. There's a, an opposition that has, yep. doesn't let us have our own way, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and that and that's makes it a little difficult. Those other teams might things up by beating us, basically. That's what you're saying. <laughs> So on, paper, on paper, we have the best team. I think on paper, we've got the players, haven't we? It's just they have to play on grass, which is the... Uh... That's right, yeah. It's the right colour, isn't it? It's not the right colour. <laughs> Fundamental problem. No, seriously. No, we do. You're from the golden age of football, aren't you? Yeah, the golden age. Football's not as good as it used to be. That's classic pub conversation, number one, about football. It's not as good as it used to be. Is it as good as it used to be? No! Is it? Yeah, I mean, you lads, you played in black and white. It was really exciting. <laughs> and foggy as well. And foggy as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because, you know, the traditional career went coach, yeah, well, player, obviously, yeah. then coach, then yeah. manager, then pundit, then you ended up running a pub. That was the old career. <laughs> yes, yeah, similar one to what I know about, really. Yeah, which you had a club, didn't you? I had a couple of pubs as well. Really? Yeah. Fantastic. What were we talking, beer garden, carvery? Because <laughs> <laughs> you... The modern game, I mean... These lads, when you were transferred in 1965 from, uh, what was it, from Chelsea to Spurs? Yes. You went for £80,000, didn't you? Yeah. And that's what these boys now earn a week, isn't it? Yeah, that's absolutely right, yeah. Mind you, houses were four quid back then, so... <laughs> <laughs> it all evened out. I mean, you, when you played football, you were men, weren't you? All chopping each other's ankles and all that, you were men. It was, men. It was in the 70s, it was actually... They're talking about aggressive play, it was... Filthy for about one season because everyone they forgot the ball and got on with the game. I mean, literally, everyone was kicking each other, yeah. and it was <laughs> and they knew what they were doing. I mean, I think a lot of it today it's reckless. People say it's hard and tough, but it's not really. The game's faster, yeah. bad judgments, which makes it difficult. And I don't think it's really any tougher today, certainly as it was at one particular time. Right, well, I mean, I think you lot were men, yeah, back your day were men. Now they're like kids, aren't they? Like, ooh, you ran past me and they fall over. Like, <laughs> I'm just a daisy, I'm not very well. <laughs> the referee is looking at me, he's looking at me, ref. <laughs> they don't know how to behave when they're out and about, do they? I mean, to your generation, a roast was like meat to Vench, Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> That's true. It's all the trimmings now, but of a different kind. And we've got the, uh, the wags, of course, of wives and girlfriends. Yes. That's a big distraction, isn't it, for a modern player? Uh, no, they've all got them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean, the basic problem is their wives and girlfriends turn up, and that would distract any bloke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, of course, were part of the McLaren setup. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's the end of an era. Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> Well, exactly, because you were advising, weren't you? Yep. What advice were you giving, Tell? <laughs> All bad, obviously. <laughs> no, no, surely. He wasn't listening, no. What, what advice were you giving? Well, just like any other business, if someone wants to know what you feel about it, like I would do, listen to what the advisors say and yeah. take no notes of them or whatever you want to do. Yeah. Um, I, I, we, it's, it's just really a tough subject for all of us because everyone's so upset about not going to the Euros, really. Yeah. Uh, you're not, though, are you? <laughs> it's going to tear the high out of the pub trade this summer. Thanks a lot, you useless bastards. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. No, no, seriously. No. No. The thing is... 
Well, the thing is, though, the England manager job, I mean, mm. it's, it's like an undoable job now, isn't it, though? No matter how well you do, it's not good enough for the papers. They tear chunks off it, and that's the case, isn't it? Absolutely right. I mean, they call it the impossible job, and it is. I mean, I, I think that the, the pressure that comes now from uh, outside the game is what is really making it difficult. I mean, they should do, because we, you know, I believe the reason you get that money is that you can actually do it yeah. under pressure. Yeah. You know, anyone can do it over the park. Yeah. And, the, and the pressure is immense. And um, we haven't quite been able to get over that. As I said to you before, they care, but it's got to be caring even a little bit more than what it is. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, I mean, being an England manager, it's like a poison chalice, which is why it's best given to an Italian. Well, for... <laughs> Are you excited about Queen coming on the show? Queen of Paul I Rogers? am, absolutely. That's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. You, Gremlin. Gremlin, are you excited about it? Bismillah. No. <laughs> this is Ramrod. He's our pub football team's mascot. He's yeah. dead. And to... <laughs> Your brains is that as the manager of my pub football team, what's the secret of winning a football match? Basically, boil it down. Getting more goals than the other team? Is that what you look? I don't know if that's what you were sort of looking for. Well, it seems the obvious. Well, no, actually, the thing I really need help with is the balance, right? Because my team have got a bit good. They started playing really well, right? And they started taking it a bit serious, and it's cutting into their drinking. Now, oh no, you can't. Remember. The touring team famously. <laughs> 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 and yet managed to achieve great things. And how do you strike that balance? How do you get it right? Well, you um, celebrate a little bit after the game if you win. Yep. I mean, to be fair, when I was playing, and this many years ago, we didn't get too much money, so we enjoyed our life as well as playing football. Right. And these days, obviously, because of the money they're, they're, they're getting, they, they should be on a really strict regimen. Yeah. Should we do... I'll tell you what, uh, you know, here you are. Go on, then. You king pound it. How Go about on. we do some there's too much money in the game, blah, blah? How about we do a bit of that, eh? Blah, blah? Yeah, blah, blah. OK. Yeah, there's too I... much money in the game, blah, blah. There's demasiado money in the game, blah, blah. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, <laughs> And the players are out of touch reality, blah, 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 blah. Well, it goes without blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. And the football's changed. I mean, it used to be someone to go drink and fight, blah, 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 blah. Now you've got to take sodding kids, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Excellent. Now, the thing is, Terry, we're not going to the European Championships this year. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. I mean, the pub tray, we're going to be reeling, cos no-one's going to be taking a sicky spinning all day in the pub. <laughs> and I've pre-ordered a job lot of ploughmans as well. Oh, really? <laughs> hard, hard cheese, then, really? Yeah, yeah hard cheese. <laughs> <laughs> there are... They're vacuum back, they're good till 2010, <laughs> unlike England. <laughs> now, the, um, the, the main thing is, what I'm going to miss, apart from the football and us going out in the quarters in a penalty disaster, right. what I'm going to miss is there's no novelty <laughs> football songs. Really? There's not going to be like, any other, because there's no point. So you got one? Well, funny you should say that. <laughs> you, you had one, didn't you, a few years back? Oh, my God, yes, I did, yeah. Top 48, wasn't it? Uh, top 400, I think. Top 400. <laughs> <laughs> I've come up with a special novelty song to celebrate what's happening this summer in the European Championships, yeah. and it goes... I want to share it with you, Eltel. Good. It goes... Hang on a minute, let me just put on my hat, my football hat. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, a little bit like this. Play the tape, Gary. Play the tape. In my pub, we often talk about the beautiful game, about old England's fortunes, and my excuse remains the same. We invented football. Without us, there'd be no cup. Mm, cares about the final score? It was us that thought it up. It was us. <laughs> Soon as stay at home and drive and all their wags. The English invented football. Don't let the world forget. It was us that put the foot to the ball, born in the back of the net. It was our Not the French. It was our Not the Germans. It was our Not the Belgians. They've not thought anything. Football was our idea. England won the World Cup. 42 years ago. Since then, we've had our feet up and given the others a go. We could beat those other teams, but you really have to say... Hey, we didn't let them win 
down then they would have won a play. It was all right. I think it was all right. Yeah, oh, it was all right. Yeah, football was all right. Yeah, here we go. It was all right. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah.